Hello and welcome to today's video. Thanks for joining. We're coming to you live from this stormy planet to help you get phase five complete. So in today's video, we're going to talk about phase five and getting that completed. And then we will do the final phase as well as collect our golden vector. So we're going to start with the collecting the storm crystals here. To find storm crystals, we need to go to a extreme weather planet, and I have found that the best way to find them is to go to a non-yellow system. So uh, I'm just following my map to the uh, rendezvous point so that I can kill two birds with one stone here. And we're going to jump to... A green, red, or blue planet. All right, so what we're going to do is use our scanner and we're going to look for what um, climates these planets have. So we'll just look at the planet, hit the scanner, and the activated um, different metals uh, points out that this planet is probably going to have a lot of storms. And I also like to go to the dark side of the planet to find the storm crystals because everything's made easier there. So that's where we're going to head to right now. All right, now that we've arrived here in the storm, we've got to find the crystals right here. Up. And we're going to need to have stuff to be able to refill your shields and health. To help make getting these crystals easier, if you have this Minotaur exoskeleton, you can get around a bit better in the storm, and it also offers you protection from the storm, so you don't have to worry about that. And when you jump, you can get up in the air higher helps to see those crystals. Uh, so this does help a lot if you have it. If not, you don't have to use it. Uh, it's just something that will help you out. Uh, right here should be the last crystals we need to finish that. There we go. We got the storm crystals finished. Sentinels I'm not going to spend a lot of time with today because I have that in other uh, videos which I'll link in the description and uh, mainly what I do with that is just find an abandoned building and just start shooting them um, but I'll link that video in that description as well. The uh, stolen treasure basically I used the um, navigational data to find uh, ancient ruins and if you go to a water planet um, and use that it'll guide you directly to one so it's not real hard to get either I had no problems getting that um, the uh, make a million dollars in a sale uh, again if you just um, you know sell uh, chlorine in my money making video that I can um, link in the description you'll get that as well uh, really quickly To complete the survivor uh, part of phase five here, we need to walk 10,000 U uh, in extreme worlds. So basically, we just have to walk around in a storm like this uh, for 10,000 U. So once we get that, it'll pop up here. So just kind of run around. Uh, I stay near my ship so that if the uh, shield gets low, I can jump back in there or you can use a battery to reach your ship. But now that the storm is ending, or if the storm ends, you will have to just wait for another storm or go to another planet to have the storm. 
So that will get you the survivor unlocked with the 10,000 new walking on an extreme world. So next, let's look at an abandoned system. And this is a little bit tricky. So what you're going to need is the conflict scanner and the economy scanner that you can get in the anomaly. Uh, but you're going to need both of these to find this easily. And so what you're going to do is come into your galaxy map. And you're going to look around here for a star that says um, a system race but no data otherwise. So like this says unavailable data everywhere. Uh, we want one that says uh, data unavailable. So like this right here says the race is Corvax but no economy data and no conflict data. And that's because the race has left the system. So when we go in here, um, this will uh, be an abandoned system. So it's just a matter of were you the first one there uh, or not. So it should come up here, so first contact. And I did not discover this, so this would not have counted. Uh, but if we go back into our galaxy map, we should see that this says the system is abandoned. So there it says that it's abandoned. And this is kind of cool. You can um, check out the space station. It does look different. Um, I'm not going to spoil that for you, but you can check that out. So now I want to finish up my navigator, which is the waypoints here. So, and to find the waypoints, uh, I can go in here and use the planetary chart for the outpost. So we're just going to scan for one. I happened to find one as I landed, but we'll see if it brings that one up or something different. Okay, so basically any settlement that has a building uh, except for like trading posts that won't have uh, one of these little scanners here. But that's what you're looking for is it pretty much all the buildings will have uh, one of these around. We'll save and chart. So we'll hit that. And there we go. Alright, so the last thing we have to do now is reach Rendezvous 5, which I've saved to the end. And I am actually going to film this one live. Uh, should be in the next uh, stream. So I'm going to have that set up. Make sure you have your notifications turned on. Um, so you don't miss when I do live streams. Uh, I'm on Twitch at Brickyard43. So make sure you have that so when I do live recordings for videos like this, um, you can be part of it as well. Alright, so here we are live and we are going to go to Rendezvous 5 and get that finished so we can take a look at that as well as finish final phase and go get my golden vector. So, we should not be very far Hopefully, from there it is. I thought I had it set up. All right, let's go find this rendezvous point at the base. There we go. I would get a hostile skin. Hopefully, I will be there first. There we go. You see, lots of people have built bases here.
to give them a little bit of a lag issue. See if we can see it before we use the skin. It should be right here somewhere. So many people around here. Probably pretty much right where that. Yeah, it sits over that one somewhere. And this is it here. If we can land as normal, never can land. There we go. All right, here we are. Round of five. As the storm approaches, so they left the message. Five rewards. All right, now I'm assuming to collect the golden vector. Uh, oh, maybe do we have to go to the? Oh no, I guess I don't have to go to the anomaly. Wow, that looks pretty cool. What do you get? A thruster? Oh, it won't tell me the upgrades yet. So it's a 29 slot fighter. Okay. Alright, let's clean it. And I'm guessing I'm going to. Oh, let's get out of the storm to go get it. I think what we'll do is go back to my base and bring it up there. Alright, we're back here at Unicorn Base, and there it is. We did it. I 
can't believe I finally got that finished. That uh, was a lot of fun to get that. So let's take a look here at the technology stuff they gave us. Let's see what upgrades to these thruster upgrades. All strike power. Efficiency boost. Alright, that's pretty nice. Oh, we even got the golden tail. Alright. Teleporter and everything. Alright, guys. That looks pretty cool. Let's take it for a test flight. Alright, let's fly this thing here. Flies pretty nice. I wouldn't say that it's exactly the same as the exotics the way they fly, uh, but it does fly pretty nice. And really, it's all about the looks. So. Alright. Alright, guys, thanks for joining me on this video and my journey to get my Golden Vector. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you learned something, I would appreciate it if you subscribe and support me, help me out. Also, turn on the bells uh, so you get notified when I upload uh, my videos. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, uh, Brickyard43, I post um, notifications and give you heads up as things are coming out and when I'll be doing live streams as well on Twitch. All right, thanks again. Have a good day.